Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Chris and very briefly in this video uh, I want to explain to you why I believe that um, Billy Graham was without a doubt and I don't think there's any doubt about it whatsoever was one of the worst false teachers to ever infiltrate the Church of Jesus Christ and uh, I'm going to explain that to you very briefly here with the Word using the Word of God because the Word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword and the Word of God teaches us how to, how to discern uh, truth from error and that which is uh, true and that which is false and that which is right and that which is wrong. It's, it teaches us to do that. And Jesus told us, you know, he, he, he basically spoke about false teachers and said the time, to, you know, the time toward the end, many will be deceived and many will go and they will say that Jesus is Lord. And that's what he meant when he said, and they will say that I am Christ, you know, and, um, They'll say that Jesus is Lord, but they will deceive many, and they will come in his name. So who are these people? Well, I think one of those people is Billy, was Billy Graham. And, uh, you know, he just died here, you know, about a week ago, this being early March 2018. But, you know, Jesus said, you will know them by their fruits. You will know them by their fruits. He didn't say that we wouldn't know them. He said that we would know them. Who will know them? Those who uh, have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil, like the book of Hebrews says, those that are not on the milk, but on the meat, and those who have grown up in the faith and have matured in Christ, and like the book of Ephesians says, and are no longer children tossed to and fro with every um, wind of doctrine and cunning, uh, and cunning slate of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. So we, 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 we can know the truth. We can know a false teacher if we just let the word lead us and we let the word show us these people, even though they may look very, very close to the real thing. Now, the first problem that I have with Billy Graham, and the first reason I think that he was a false teacher, is his close relations and his collusion with the Roman Catholic Church. And the Roman Catholic Church is without a doubt a false religion that is full of paganism and is full of uh, Mary worship and all these false doctrines and these rituals and ceremonies that are not in the Bible and they're not biblical at all. And so, let's look at the book of Galatians in, in chapter 1 and tells us what, you know, let's look at the book of Galatians and, and how to discern a, a false gospel, okay? I am astonished, Paul said in, in Galatians 1, 6, that you are so quickly deserting him who called you in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel. And that's what Roman Catholicism is. It's a different gospel. Uh, not that there is another one, but there are some who trouble you and want to distort the gospel of Christ, and that's what Roman Catholicism is. It's a distortion of the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so now I say again, and Paul is really emphasizing this. This is very, very extremely important. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone is preaching to you a gospel contrary to the one you received, let him be accursed. And basically, what Paul is saying here is, if somebody distorts the gospel of Christ and they come to you preaching another gospel, coming in Christ's name, but it's not the gospel that the apostles preached to you, then let that man be accursed. Now, the Roman... Roman Catholicism is without a doubt another gospel because nowhere in the, the, the Bible, nowhere in the New Testament does it tell us to pray to Mary, that Mary is co-mediator with Christ, that she had perpetual virginity, that she was immaculately conceived, and that you know we should you know go through the mass and crucify Christ all over again and partake of his true body and blood in the mass. That's, that's not what the Bible teaches. That's a false gospel. Now let's go to um, the book of 2 John and let's look at how we are supposed to approach these people. You know, uh, what our attitude should be toward them, you know. And it's not, I mean, it's not one of, you know, ha being in company with them. So right here in um, 2 John verse 8, it says this. It says, watch yourselves, and I'm reading from the English Standard Version too, by the way. Watch yourselves so that you may not lose what we have worked for, but may win a full reward. Everyone who goes on ahead and does not abide in the, in the teaching of Christ does not have God. So, if the Roman Catholic Church is not you know, abiding in what God taught, then they don't have God. Whoever abides in the teaching 
has both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this teaching, do not receive him into your house or give him any greeting, for whoever greets him takes part in his wicked deeds. Now, I mean, that's pretty profound right there. In other words, it's saying if you if you uh, keep company with false teachers and you make friends with them, and, or if you, the Bible says not to even greet them. If you greet them, you are partaker in their evil deeds. And Billy Graham did that a lot. I mean, he had a lot of uh, company with the Roman Catholic Church. He even went to the Vatican and stayed a week one time. And he met up with the Pope, I think, like five times. He had like five visits with the Pope. I mean, various Popes, Pope John Paul II, and I think uh, uh, Benedictine, I'm, I'm not for sure. But um, my point is this. You know, if you're meeting up with the Pope, but you're not rebuking him of his false gospel, and you are basically keeping company with him, well, then you're violating what Second John said right here. You are giving him God's speed, and you're somewhat indirectly validating him to unbelievers. You're, you're validating the Roman Catholic Church to unbelievers. And you're keeping company with him, so therefore the Bible says you're partaker in their evil deeds. And so uh, Billy Graham did that a lot. And also the ministry of Billy Graham was basically about, you know, bringing all these different denominations and giving lip service to the word, you know, the words of Christ. I'm not saying, you know, you, you couldn't have got saved at a Billy Graham meeting, but you know, giving lip service, but, you know, behind the scenes, you know, in, you know, in, in your private, in, in, in public life, you're basically um, validating the Roman Catholic Church and false religions. He also said other things about, uh, Buddha, you know, Buddhism and Hinduism and Islam, and he, he basically didn't have a problem with them. Um, and he was asked on Larry King Live, and he was asked, you know, with, by Robert Shuler, well, he, on Larry King Live, he was asked, you know, Will Muslims be in heaven? Will Hindus be in heaven if they don't accept Christ? You know, I'm paraphrasing, but he basically said, that's not for me to judge. That's for God to judge. Well, God has judged that. God has chosen that man, Jesus Christ, whom he will judge the world by on that, on that day that he is appointed. And is Jesus Christ the only way to heaven? Which was basically what Larry King was saying. Yes, he absolutely is, but Billy Graham didn't want to, you know, he didn't want to offend people. He didn't want to just come right out and say it. And, um... But Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. And Billy Graham basically said, I've been called to preach a God of love. Well, the God of love tells us to go out and warn people and to tell them of the wrath that is to come and that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. And the second problem I basically had with Billy, with Billy Graham was that he was too world friendly. You know, the book of James tells us in James chapter 4 that um, a friend of the world is an enemy of God. Well, what was the world's attitude toward Billy Graham? Well, they they welcomed him with open arms. I mean, they received him. And let's look at what Jesus said about that in John chapter 15. In John chapter 15, verse 18, he, he said this, If the world hates you, know that, it has ha know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, now listen to this, if you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. Well, the world did not really persecute Billy Graham. The world did not have a problem with Billy Graham. Uh, actually, the world, Hollywood, and I don't think you can get any more worldly than that, basically gave Billy Graham a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He's got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I joke you not. Look it up. It's there. So, what is that to say about a man that the world embraced that way? I mean, uh, do you think that in the time of Nero in Rome, that uh, Rome would have, been, would have been erecting statues to Paul? No. I mean, do you think they'd been erecting statues to Peter and... Uh, Matthew and the apostles that you know they, those men were martyred I mean the world hated them the world killed them uh, they martyred them but the world embraced Billy Graham and even gave him a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame amongst all those other immoral celebrities you know is Billy Graham so I mean uh, but the book of Hebrews basically said you know the world was not worthy 
of, you know, people that had faith. You know, they, they slept in, in, in dens and caves of the earth, and the world was not worthy of people like that. That's the true walk of God. I mean, that, that's the true walk of a Christian in this world. They're destitute, you know. Paul said, you know, we have become the off, you know, the offscuring of all things. We're basically the scum of the earth, you know, and that's, you know, how the world will treat somebody that's preaching the true gospel of Jesus Christ. But I don't think Billy Graham was doing that. And, I, and like I said, I ain't saying that you, you couldn't have got saved at a, at, a, at a Billy Graham crusade, but please do keep in mind, uh, the man packed stadiums many, many times. And Jesus said, you know, basically, uh, straight is the gate, narrow is the way, and few there be that find it. And many go into the broad way. So if, you know, a lot of people are constantly, you know, attending your crusades, then that, that, that might speak something about you. And Jesus said, Woe unto you when all men speak well of you, for so did your fathers, the false prophets that were before you. So my point is this. The world didn't really have a problem with Billy Graham. Yeah, a lot of times his gospel that he preached was um, um, pretty sound, but it's your conduct also behind the scenes um, and how you conduct yourself in public life that really shows the real gospel that you're preaching. And to me, what his gospel, what his ministry was about was about gathering all these denominations, these evangelical denominations, and bringing them back under the Roman Catholic umbrella. And I think that's basically what his ministry was about. And we gotta, we got to keep something in mind. The Bible says, let every man be a liar. Let every man be a liar, but let God be true. And no man is above God's acid test. No man. And we got to keep something like that in mind. You know, Billy Graham was just that. He was a man. And you know, I've, I've received some flack here lately because of my crit criticism of him. And I've seen here lately that people are people put Billy Graham on way too high of a pedestal. And we got to keep something in mind. He was just that, a man. And no man should be put on that high of a pedestal where he cannot be criticized by the Word of God. And we also need to keep something else in mind. Jesus said, if it were possible, the very elect would be deceived. In other words, the counterfeit Christianity in the last days will look very, very closely to the real thing. But it's that collusion... And it's that company with the devil and the Roman Catholic Church that, that you know, is the lowest common denominator. And I believe that determined that basically Billy Graham was a false teacher. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'm open to your, your criticism or whatever. And thanks, so thanks for watching my video and God bless.